Good evening. Welcome back, Canon users, to another technical analysis piece. This week we're looking at AFRIA, APHQF, here in the United States on the OTC markets. Some of their subsidiaries are, are Nuvera in Germany, Broken Coast, Canway, uh, Pure Nature's Wellness, uh, and they do do some interesting uh, formulation of their cannabis, which is all grown in greenhouses, interestingly. Um, syringes, vaporizers, oral solutions, and even capsules uh, are in their product line. Uh, but let's jump to the pricing charts uh, and, and take a look at, at what they're telling us this week. You can see again we're looking at the Hakanashi, uh, and we'll see some downward trends overall. We're looking fairly long back, you know, almost all summer. Uh, Afria has taken a beating in, in their price. Uh, but let's pay a little more attention to what's happened more recently. Uh, so I'm really going to zoom in here to the last couple of days, the last uh, week or so. Uh, and many of you will notice uh, that the price increase has jumped up uh, pretty significantly. Um, this is probably related to some other announcements uh, related to canopy growth in the industry. But look what happens to the pricing chart. From 680 up to 872, really nice growth, almost $2. Uh, today we're also going to take a look at the Chaikin Oscillator and the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. Uh, so first, uh, we've talked about the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, here on the bottom of the chart many times. Uh, this helps us indicate when prices are overbought or oversold. So oversold would be values of the RSI below 30 while overbought would be values above 70. Uh, so you can see this stock was, was taking a beating and then all of a sudden around the time of the announcement here, uh, we switch from under 30 to over 70. So now we're in a position of being oversold, uh, sorry, overbought for the, the last two days. Uh, but look what the Chalkin tells us. That, remember the Chalkin oscillator um, will give us positive or negative divergence. Positive divergence when it crosses the accumulation distribution line, which is the zero here on the x-axis. Uh, and when it goes below, that's a negative divergence. So what we had here was a positive divergence that coincided with these huge pricing increases you can see right here. Uh, and this continued to be positive and still continues to be positive today. Uh, so let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, and you can see both chalk and oscillators and the RSI in overbought and in positive divergent modes. Uh, you know, both clearly saying that this pricing is going to go up, uh, but we may watch for the RSI to drop below 70 to see when this upward trend is going to stop, and it may be an exit point uh, for those of us that have that have entered this trade. Uh, so stay tuned uh, to AFRIA. Pay attention to your technical indicators. Uh, and thank you very much for paying attention on another technical analysis piece. Have a great week.